Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And now you see who we're going to be discussing today. All right, we got Kathy Hilton and Renna at it once again. Honey, y'all always thought black folks would cut the food. Black women, you got white folks up, up there, white women cutting the food as well. So, we're going to get into this story. It was written by the Los Angeles Times and Alexandria Del Rosero, Rosero wrote the article up for the Los Angeles Times paper. And it goes on to say Lisa Renner couldn't wait for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion to start drama with Kathy Hilton. <laughs> like, go ahead, girl, go ahead. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Weeks after speaking out about the racist cyberbullying attacks on her co on her co star Garcia Buvia's teenage son, Jax, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Renner says she's been targeted by haters. Ribbon? I thought you were the one that being were being hated. Well, no. I thought you were the hater out the group. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Or uh, you spilling hair, uh, hatred towards other people, I should say. But anyway, I have been threatened for the past four months by people basically trying to scare me, trying to ruin my credibility, trying to call me a liar, creating things that are untrue and don't exist. But guess what? Today we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about it all. She captioned a selfie posted to her Instagram story on Friday. I will tell my truth and yes, you better believe I'm going to. I'm going to talk about it all. Okay. While Renna didn't explicitly explain what prompted her dramatic post, the Days of Our Lives actor shared her message hours before meeting up with her fellow housewives to film the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion on Friday. Just before the Instagram story, Renna shared what appeared to be a screenshot of text messages from co-star Kathy Hilton. Users zooming in on the screenshot can see that Hilton's texts were sent in January around the same time the cast of the Bravo reality series embarked on a trip to Aspen. As usual, some drama unfolded on that trip, which Wednesday's episode of Real Housewives dug into. Please do not say anything we discussed. Otherwise, it will make a huge scene that everyone gets dragged into. No bueno. The first text message was Hilton said. Please, it goes further than you would want to know. Silence is golden. I am staying silent. Read Hilton's second text. Renner Instagram story also featured a response from a follower who said, Oop, in Italy, in Italy we have a word for this, which is uh, Omrita, and it's basically a mob thing followed by a shrug emoji. It's a threat for sure, Rena captioned the story along with the sticker of an emoji holding an Italian flag. Renner's latest tension with Hilton has yet to reveal itself in upcoming episodes, but on Instagram, Andy Corn teased the upcoming reunion. We already got a bombshell, I have to say, the Bravo personality said on his Instagram story. A mystery has been solved that I even that I even didn't know existed. While fans are eager to learn what drama is brewing for the Housewives, Cohen said on Instagram, this is going to be good. And August Reyna was among the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, started voice support for Buenos uh, Bouviers and her son, who said in a statement that middle-aged women spammed me with racist, crude comments about my family. Also standing in solidarity on social media were Hilton, Crystal King, uh, Crystal Kong, Minkoff, Sutton Strecky, and Dorette Kimsley. Their co-star 
Diane Jenkins was blamed for the message or messages. But on Thursday, Jenkins filed a lawsuit against anonymous bots that she alleged were behind the inappropriate comments. Someone who posts racist and threatening messages to a 14-year-old is morally bankrupt. The suit says, but defendant was not content. Women, but defendant was not content with attacking the innocent child. The Def defendant ensured that the profile and content of the postings would lead people to conclude that Miss Jenkins was the one who had purchased the bots used in the attack. That conduct to that conduct too is in the realm of the morally bank world. The messages repeatedly demanded that Bouvier's leave Diana alone. <laughs> That's funny as hell, y'all. That's funny. Y'all thought only black women cut up on television. No, nope, the white ones do it too. And I'm sure uh, any other culture, given the right formula, will act up on a reality series as well. But what y'all think about Renna coming for Kathy? Excuse me. Do you think it's warranted or it's overdue? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you.